it's time for another top five. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to hit you off with the top five tools for Pinnacle Studio. Now, these are my top five tools, not your top five tools. So if you have an opinion on what the top five tools are, leave those in the comment section below. If I left a tool off the list that you like, leave that in the comment section below as well. All right, so now that we got all of that out of the way, let's jump off into the top five Pinnacle Studio tools. Coming in at number five, we have audio ducking. Audio ducking allows you to balance the audio of two timeline tracks so that what you want to be heard is heard when you want it to be heard. With the simple push of a button, Pinnacle Studio automatically detects the volume on one track and it lowers the volume on another track so that you can actually hear one track over the other based on the sensitivity or the threshold that you select. Using this feature to lower the background of audio music during a voiceover or narration is a cool, simple way to create professional audio for your videos. Powering in at number four, we have montage templates. Pinnacle Studio's montage templates provides an easy to learn way for you to create professional looking slideshows and videos. Each montage contains a set of templates that you can add to your project as needed. Once these templates are added to your timeline, all you need to do is open up the montage editor and then you can add your images, your videos, and even effects to the drop zones to apply to your video. Then all you really need to do is adjust the speed or the length of the animation to create your own unique looks. You can actually purchase additional montage templates from the Pinnacle Studio website or you can visit 20centsvideo.com and download a bunch of montages for free. I'll be sure to add both of those links to the video description for you. Coming in at number three is an effect that is nowhere near green to the film industry, and that's the Pinnacle Studio Chroma Keyer. The Chroma Keyer tool allows you to overlay an image or a video on top of another image or video that you want to use as a background using a blue or a green screen. It actually removes the blue or green screen from the overlay image so that the image underneath it or video underneath it is shown as the background. This can be used to change the environment or the look and feel of any video. The chroma key tool can also be used to create text effects or it can be used to isolate a color in an image or a video. Sliding into place at number two is motion tracking. The motion tracking tool allows you to add text or graphics to a video that follows a moving person or a moving object on the screen. You can create a title that tracks a person along the screen. You can blur out a license plate, a logo, or a person's face. You can track a player during a sporting event, and so much more. Using the motion tracker is really simple and is done in three easy steps. First, you use the crosshairs to track the item that you want to follow. Then you click on the track selected item button to analyze your footage. And after that, you drag your overlay selection to the follow object drop zone. Once you're done, you will have created a professional effect for all your viewers to enjoy. The numero uno, number one, head honcho tool for Pinnacle Studio is the multi-camera editor. In the age of high definition smartphones, action cameras, and affordable DSLRs, there are many situations where there are several videos of multiple angles being shot of the same event. Pinnacle Studio's multi-camera editor is a tool that was made for these types of situations. It allows you to take video recorded from up to six devices and sync them into one video that allows you to change angles from clip to clip. The video clips can be synced by audio, markers, date and time, or they can be synced manually. You select the videos that you want to view in the final video by tapping a clips box in a grid on the screen. There is a bit of a learning curve using the multi-camera editor, but once you use it a few times, you'll be syncing your audio and video with these. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, that's it. That's my top five Pinnacle Studio tools. Now, as I stated at the beginning of the video, if you got a different top five, 
Leave your list in the comment section below. And if I just left something off the list that you think should be added, leave that in the comment section as well. Now, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to one of our subscribers, Larry in Bristol. Larry in Bristol creates biographies, documentaries, and family history videos. So, do me a favor. Head on over to his channel, check out some of his videos. If you're feeling what Larry's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Larry in Bristol did, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial request that you'd like to make, there's a tutorial request form in the video description as well. If you click on that and fill it out, I'll make a decision on whether or not I will make that tutorial for you. Now that I'm done with that, I need you to do something for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. Comments, questions, you need help, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.